Welcome back, my students, to another episode of Mo Money School, the school that teaches you everything that the school system should have taught you. I'm your professor, Chris Mo. For today's episode, I'm going to go ahead and show you and tell you how to get your free annual credit report. You see, majority of us aren't told by society and school that credit is really, really important and that we can also be a victim of credit fraud and identity theft. But in order to, for you to prevent all of that, you want to be checking your credit score consistently. For those of you who haven't checked out my previous video in regards to the review I did on Credit Karma, if you saw that and you didn't like Credit Karma's service, then this can be something you actually benefit from. It actually comes directly from the three credit bureaus. And the way we're going to tackle this down is the same way we did with Credit Karma, is by asking those questions. Asking those specific questions is how can we and why should we get our free annual credit report? So without further ado, let's get started. Now, all of this information that I'm going to go ahead and share with you comes from the Federal Trade Commission's website. The Federal Trade Commission, if for those of you who aren't aware, is basically just an industry that was created by the government to keep track of your credit and people and to make sure that they're fairly represented and these banking institutions and these lending institutions aren't taken advantage of. So in regards to your free annual credit report, what is it? Why is this important? Now, for those of you who aren't aware, a long time ago, people weren't able to check their credit on a consistent basis. In reality, their credit and their banking information and all their information was in the hands of all these greedy banking and lending institutions. They took advantage of people. So what the government did is they created the Federal Trade Commission. The Federal Trade Commission, also known as the FTC, is the nation's consumer protection agency. What they go ahead and do is enforce the FCRA. What's the FCRA? Well, the FCRA is an act that requires each of the credit bureaus to go ahead and give you access to your credit report at least one time every 12 months. What? Are you telling me that the government has my back? Yeah, sort of. I mean, they kind of protect you. You see, the government and the people believe that everybody should be equal and there should be a transparency between the consumer and these banking institutions. A while ago, they didn't have this act. So they passed this act in order for people to be aware of the information that goes on their credit report. That way, in case there's something that they don't recognize or they never applied for, and they may be a victim of identity theft or credit fraud, they can go ahead and fight it. You see, these three credit bureaus, they're not governed by the government. These three credit bureaus are just a company a company that takes in your information and sells it to other people. You see, since the government was able to jump into this and pass this act, now consumers are able to go ahead and request this credit report and see exactly what these companies are monitoring in regards of their life. So what does this credit report have? What does it hold? What does it tell about you? It tells you literally everything about you almost literally everything about you, at least everything that you've written down. It tells you your name, the place you live, the previous places you live, the bills you constantly pay, what you applied for, what you didn't pay for, also known as bankruptcy and delinquencies. Basically, what they go ahead and do is keep track of your finances. They wanna make sure that everyone is reporting the same thing, which is why there's three credit bureaus. And each of these three credit bureaus all have fairly similar information or at least they should have the exact same information but they value it at different scores as i mentioned before they each have a different score you see these three credit bureaus they're not made by the government they're not governed by the government they have their own rules they have their own shareholders to please the way they make money is by selling your information whenever you apply for a credit card you apply for a loan they get reported to this credit bureau and that personal information that you offer them 
is now sent into the system where they're able to send it off to other banking institutions. That way, you can go ahead and get approved for another credit card and another loan so you can be more into debt. But why is this important? Why should you care about the FCRA? The reason why you should care about the FCRA is because you need to keep track of your credit. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this over and over again. Credit is really, really important. You need to play this credit game correctly because if you don't play this credit game correctly, you're not gonna be able to use debt as an advantage. You're not gonna be able to get the house mortgage that you want. You're not gonna get the car payment that you want. And you're not gonna get the stuff that you want. You wanna make sure that not only are you getting the stuff that you want, but nobody's taking your identity and nobody's creating credit fraud under your name. You see, credit is going to be the determining factor of how much you're going to get charged for a car, how much you're going to pay for a house, and whether you're going to get approved or not. Credit is fairly important. And nowadays, anything can be hacked. Anything can be hacked. Me just talking to you right now, you using your access, there can be a hacker lurking around the corner, hacking into your internet, trying to get your information. You need to keep track of your credit report. And the way you do this is by checking it at least one time annually. It's already free. You're not getting charged for it. All you gotta do is verify that all the information on there is yours. So how can I get it? How can I get my free annual credit report? It's fairly easy. There's three different methods. For those of you who are a little bit more tech savvy, you can apply online. The website is called annualcreditreport.com. Or second, you can go ahead and call 1-877-322-8228 or for those of you who aren't tech savvy or don't want to go ahead and call you can download the form and mail it out to them that way you can get your free credit report now there's three credit bureaus you're gonna be getting a report from each and every one of them each and every one of them are gonna be a little bit different but they should have similar information you want to go ahead and check all this information see your address your name and everything you apply for and see if it really correlates with who you are because somewhere out there in the world maybe someone who's trying to take your identity creating credit card fraud and that's going to go ahead and affect you in the future because when you apply for a credit card or you apply for a loan it's going to show that that one person may not be paying for your stuff so you want to keep track of this at least one time a year and that's it that's literally it. Getting your free annual credit report is fairly easy. You need to do this on a yearly basis and you have to do it consistently because there's not enough security to go ahead and prevent people from taking your identity. There's not enough security from people creating credit fraud. You wanna be aware of these things before they come into play. The way you do this is by checking your free annual credit report. And on top of that, dude, it's absolutely free. Nobody's charging you. The government passed an act so you can go ahead and get your free annual credit report each and every year. Don't trust these three credit bureaus. They're not working for you. They're working because they want to make money off of you. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and get your free annual credit report today. Just go online, you'll download it literally in seconds, and you'll be able to verify all your information. It's fairly easy. And I'll go ahead and put the link below. That way you can go ahead and access it on your own time. But guys, you have to be aware. The first step to financial freedom, the first step to living the life that you wanna go ahead and live is by opening up your awareness factor. You wanna go ahead and be aware of all your resources. This is one of the resources. This is how you get ahead in life. Majority of people are never taught this in school. You are at an advantage right now because majority of people aren't taught this in school. Majority of people aren't checking their credit. Majority of people don't know any of the information that I just showed you right now. Take advantage of this opportunity, conquer it, that way you can get ahead in life. Besides that guys, if you love this video, go ahead and smash the like button if you haven't done so already, that way you can help me out with the YouTube algorithm so more people can be aware of Mo Money School. On top of that, if you haven't done so already, enroll into my class by hitting the subscribe button, hitting the notification button, that way you're alerted whenever I upload a new video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and put them below, or you can message me on my Instagram or Twitter, risinggrind.mo. I post pretty much on my Instagram daily. And if you want to go ahead and see more of me, I also have another YouTube channel called Chris Mo's Journey, where I pretty much talk about my life, and you can see what I'm up to as well. Besides that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn anything for next week, go ahead and message me, and I'll go ahead and see you next time. Class is dismissed.